Well, another beautiful day out here in Victoria, driving around in my new truck. I don't know how many kilometers I have in here because it's a show. We'll get that up shortly. I'm just driving through my chosen right now. And it's a very nice day outside, if you can see. The way she goes. We'll try and get a better shot when we're not looking straight into the sunlight. But we're going to turn onto Happy Valley Road, a known favorite road of mine. And uh, a, lot of, a couple of motorcycles out today. What is it today? 11th of December? And it's a uh, pretty freaking amazing day. Let's get this out of the way. Uh, truck's doing really well. I'm really enjoying it. It's got the nice center console. It's got me. And we've got treats today. So we're going to turn uh, turn left up at Math's Rocky Point Road. Doesn't that sound like fun? Go to the heart of East Souk. And anyway, it's been a busy week at work. Getting lots done. Let me cheached. Still excited for my, uh, very excited for my new work to move into the new building that they're uh, still still working there. We're supposed to be what, two and a half months away. We'll see how that works out. And uh, what else is going on? Going to church tonight, going to a door, hang out with the peeps there. Doing an interesting uh, Christmas series. Timely, I suppose, being Christmas and all. Uh, very cool, so excited for that. And uh, just going for a drive today. Then I go for a little spin in the old truck here. Okay, let's see how many kilometers I got in here. Let's figure this out. Info. Oh, I got 300.7 kilometers. I can see that. That's what we got on there now. Still new. Oh yeah. It's got that crazy red line at seven. And uh, it actually has a rev limiter just above seven. This thing freaking screams. It's the uh, 3.7 liter V6. I'm really impressed with this truck so far. Uh, 3.7 liter V6 is a good choice. I mean, you could easily easily uh, tow this this thing as well. I see no problem with that. Um, it does like to rev. It's got six speed uh, six speed automatic in it, um, so it holds it in the right gear for whatever purpose. And actually, this week looking at getting a uh, a lowering kit for it. Funny because I talked to a few friends about a uh, lowering kit, and uh, sh would you believe my salesman John Grieve gives me a ring. John's a great guy. Suburban Motors is a great place, by the way. And uh, he happens to have a, a lowering kit that he wants to sell me for cheap. So hopefully we'll get our hands on that this week and uh, bolt it on. Four inch drop in the front, two inch in the rear, and uh, it should look great. Anyway, I'll, uh, I'll pull over here and uh, show you what the truck looks like. I took the running boards off now. So yeah, here it is finally, and uh, great truck so far, really enjoying it. Uh, took the running boards off, so I think it looks a million times better without them. Uh, it's got the painted grill, so it is a 2011 regular cab short box, two-wheel drive, so we're going to be dropping it about four inches in the front and two inches in the back, so it'll have a bit of a rake, but uh, really enjoying it. I forget the name of the color, it's some sort of silver, obviously. This is the SL XLT. XLT custom package, which gave me this grill surround, which is painted. The normal ones don't come with any of this, it's just black. It's got the, uh, usually these have chrome bumpers or black, whereas these are not body color, which is really sweet. These 18 inch alloys with Michelin tires, like the 255, uh, the tire size, oh yeah, sorry, 265 60R18s. There we go. And there's a Michelin LTX, nothing special. You know, no, no crazy try to remember that, but I think this old truck looks great. Oh yeah, it comes with the chrome exhaust tip with the package as well, so the truck isn't that clean right now, but uh, you know, it is what it is. And uh, like I said, it's got 300 kilometers on it now. I'm sure it'll treat me well. Um, and I think it'll look awesome with Lord. I like those wheels. So let's keep driving. The truck sounds good too. Let's start it up here. So yeah, it's got the Ford Sync. Oh, let's turn this down for a second. It's got the Sync system. So if I had my iPod cable here, it would hook up to that little port there by Microsoft, and I can do all the voice features. Like, uh, let's see. Sync. Please say a command. Cancel. Anyway, 
does all sorts of interesting stuff there. All sorts of buttons on the steering wheel here. Way more than I'd ever need. Let's play, play with the info though. It's kind of cool. Info, we've got our trip meter, trip A, trip B. We're tripping. Kilometers to empty, average consumption. And there's this neat little consumption meter. So as I'm driving along, this will go up either good, saying, yeah, you're doing great, or really poor on fuel, so you can guess which end of that I usually end up on. Timer. If you want to time your drive to work, I guess that's cool. Let's reset it. There we go. So we're going to time the rest of this video. Oh, I guess that's it. Wow. Well, okay, we made it to seven seconds. Wow. That's exciting. Oh, setup. I'll press the, uh, the setup button here. Setup gets us. Reset for system check. Let's press reset. Oh, it tells me my oil life. All doors are closed. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh. Ah. Yes. So anyway, that's that. And you can do through the setup button, if you want to turn off your uh, automatic the door locks, or it's got power door locks, power windows, by the way. If you want to set up your, uh, it does that auto lock feature. Just hit uh, setup. And then, I think hit setup again. Ah, yes. Just keep tapping setup. So you could change it to um, miles, auto lamp. That's how long the lights stay on when you lock or unlock. I, it was at 20, I put it down to t 10. Auto lock, I turn it off because I don't like getting in an outer vehicle, driving away and it automatically locking. We've got auto unlock, so when you put it in park, it unlocks, whatever. Courtesy wipe. <laughs> I'm sure that's much like a courtesy flush. Rear park aid. Oh yeah, it's got those backup sensors in the back. I forgot to show you. Trailer sway. Yeah, it's got trailer sway control. Let's turn that off. I don't have a trailer. And you can create a mic. In English. English. Both français. Espanol. English. Let's leave that in English. And uh, away we go. So, uh, let's cruise more of East City. Yeah, one other feature I really like is Sirius Satellite Radio. And you set all your presets, you can set to whatever you want. What do I have it on? CNN, that's not right. Uh, I mucked around with my stations, hold on. CD Sync, AM, FM, FM. Oh, there we go, Satellite 1. That's where I got my presets. I've got Classic Vinyl. Classic Rewind. Lithium. Boneyard, 70s on 7, Hits 1, Blue Collar Radio, <laughs> Pops Classical, and The Message, and, oh, I haven't set 0, nobody likes 0, so I usually have it on Classic Vinyl, that's how I roll. Yes. So anyway, let's get rolling. Should I put my seatbelt on too? Yeah, yeah. I forgot to mention there's also lots of storage space behind the seats. Uh, not a good time to show that because I'm driving. But there's a solid 18 inches uh, behind each seat when they're kind of in a mid position. And about uh, 25 inches behind the center console. You could fit like a, some decent sized tool, toolboxes behind there. Oh, what do we got here? All sorts of interesting places here on the island. favorite little perches here. Overlooking this little bay. Always a great view. Until you look down and you see the dead body in a blanket. Always a nice sight. So yeah, popular place to dump your garbage here. There's all sorts of garbage down here. It's really like an old fuel tank. Yeah, and people are gross. Yeah, the old Ford's here too. So that's pretty much our drive for today.